I'm here with head coach Dennis Bond. How does it feel to play a Patriot League game? What's the excitement with that? Yeah, I mean, it was good to get kind of going with the season in, in the Patriot League play. Um, and, you know, here on our home field, I thought we put a great effort in. Unfortunately, we didn't get the, you know, the full three points. Um, we weren't able to score and finish. Um, but, you know, got the shutout, got a point, got the Patriot League season going, and we built from there. Yeah, definitely. It felt like a different energy out there. Would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought especially the second half overtime, temperature got a little cooler, pace got a little bit higher. So I thought we started creating some more chances. Um, but again, unfortunately, just didn't have the, the quality or the execution in the final third. Um, so it's something we're going to have to improve upon. Uh, but the effort was there, the commitment was there, and uh, you know, just uh, can never can never question that from this group. Right, that's great. And as your 21st season as head coach, I'm sure you've seen it all. But how common is a double overtime where there is just still a draw? And how do you adjust your offense and defense for that? Yeah, I mean, I just continually been talking to the guys about playing brave and courageous. And we didn't sit back and we didn't just kind of, you know, play direct. We tried to still put some passes together. I thought in the second overtime, you know, we created some good quality opportunities. Um, so maybe a little bit different than past years with this group, because I, I, I do think we, you know, uh, wanted to continue continue to play our style even though it was overtime um, and uh, like I said I thought we you know did really well in both overtimes but we just uh, you know just didn't get that that final goal so great and finally moving on to Tuesday's match against St. Peter's uh, what are you telling the team yeah, I mean, we ultimately have to get these, these two points back next weekend, but we do have a non-conference game. So just said, you know, I'm sure it won't be the same starting lineup uh, as the last two games because we're going to have to give some guys a little bit of a rest now that we're in Patriot League season. So, uh, you know, be smart tonight, get a good day off tomorrow, uh, and everybody be ready because if your name is called, we got to go to St. Peter's and prove that we can start winning on the road, um, and that's what we're going to plan to do on Tuesday. Definitely great. Well, good luck, Coach, and I look forward to following you right, throughout the season. I appreciate it. So I'm here with goalkeeper Alex Sutton. You had some phenomenal saves throughout the game. I could see the frustration, both teams. How do you lead the team as the, it's a scoreless game? Um, you know, it's it, coming off the last two seasons where we've had a lot of success uh, with a similar group of guys. I think guys are just getting a little bit antsy um, because we're not finding the same amount of goals that we did in the past two seasons. Um, so in, in reality, I mean, we have, the, we have all the pieces there. We have good enough players. We have the tactics. I think it just comes down to confidence and keep trying um, and trying to keep guys on the same path without trying to, you know, DEFCON 5, really try to change everything up. Like, it will start coming. Um, the more we play, the more we get comfortable with one another. Um, I'm sure the goals will come. And, of course, it's frustrating, but, you know, it is what it is, and you just got to deal with it. Definitely. Was there kind of a glimmer of hope, a key play that you really thought the momentum was going to shift there? Um, I think we had a bunch of opportunities tonight, um, and I think that's kind of been the issue all season is that it's not a question of getting the chances created. I think it's like really that last final ball, that last second of final ball, just, you know, we're not totally hitting on execution as well as we should be, um, and that's kind of the reason. But, you know, as you can see, I feel like we dominated the game tonight for the most part. We had more possession. We had more chances. We had more corner kicks. Um, everything across the board, I thought we were better than them, except for obviously scoring goals. So. Right. And moving on to Tuesday's game, what's the game plan against St. Peter's? Um, you know, same as we've, we've used the same tactics in every game for the past two years, so nothing changes. I think uh, Coach Dennis um, mentioned that we might switch up the lineup, give some guys a new chance as it's an out-of-conference game and we've started conference play. It's pretty usual for us um, just to see what different guys can do because we haven't, we haven't been getting the goals, um, and I'm sure they'll come, and we've got a really deep bench. Uh, we've got 30 guys, and I'm sure somebody out there is going to be the one to make the difference. Great, yeah, be that spark. Well, thank you so much, and yeah, good luck. Course. Thank you. I'm Colleen McNamara reporting for Lafayette Sports Network, and be sure to tune in to the guys as they play Tuesday at St. Peter's.